For thousands of years, Jewish people around the world have celebrated the Feast of Tabernacles. They do it by following the biblical instruction to live in temporary dwellings like tents. Julie Stahl visited one of those sukkahs to see how it brings the Jewish people closer to God, who some call Hashem. It's an ancient biblical commandment that's still being kept today. Some call it a Jewish camping trip, but with the conveniences of home. Shalom. Hi, Shalom. Welcome. Shalom. So glad thank to you. have you here with us in our sukkah. Yes, thank you. We're here in our sukkah, which is really the, the home away from homes for this whole week of uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot. Like many Israelis and Jewish people around the world, Seth and Te'ena ben Chaim build a sukkah or booth on the back porch of their Jerusalem apartment every year. It helps us remember, first of all, we're commanded to remember the exodus from Egypt and how we needed to uh, wander through the desert for 40 years without permanent dwellings. But it also reminds us that even though we've been brought into the land of Israel, we haven't reached our final destination. So tell us about the sukkah itself. What, what do you, how do you make a sukkah? And the main thing is that it's a roof that will uh, make us feel that we're open to the elements. Uh -huh. And then and we why need to, is that? well, uh, because otherwise we'd be in the protection of our homes in some ways. And, uh, and we're supposed to be in this flimsy tabernacle uh, so that we can remember that ultimately we're under Hashem's uh, protection. Most sukkahs are decorated, at least in part, by the children. Families eat, sleep, study, and play together in their temporary houses for a whole week. Despite the camping conditions, it's considered a joyful time. And, and you can focus on the real important things like relationships and, uh, and just sitting down and studying the Word and talking with the, the children about God's faithfulness. Jonathan and his sister Rebecca enjoy the holiday so much, Jonathan made his treehouse into a sukkah. This was sukkah. This was sukkah. And that too. That's very pretty. So you decorated your sukkah up here. Yes. Wow. Another part of the Sukkot celebration, recorded in Leviticus 23, is bringing a special fruit and branches to rejoice before the Lord. We offer them to Hashem, all four of these, in our uh, prayers. Every morning we wave them in many different directions and we, uh, we really look to above. And that's what this type of roof helps us remember too, is we're looking to above because that's where our help is going to come from. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.